Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson here, Mount Isa Australia Independent Sensi Consultant. Today is a bit of a different video. It's a video for a little bit of fun. Now, I'm going to do a video based on my perfect six pack. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you're buying products like our wax bars or our Scentsy Pots, the cheapest way to buy them is in a bundle and save six pack. And it's even cheaper this month. Instead of paying $50 for, well, it's cheaper for your wax bars, not your wax pots, sorry. But for this month, the month of January, instead of paying $50 for a six pack of bars, you're only paying $45 Australian. That's a saving of $5. But that's not what this video is about. I just thought I'd put it out there and let you know at the moment all wax bars are 10% off. So you can get a bundle and save six pack for $45 instead of $50. But what I was saying, going back to our bundle and saves, is when purchasing our pods or our bars, the cheapest way to get them is the bundle and save six pack because you're essentially buying five and getting one for free. So back to the fun part of the video. Saying that, I have decided to put together my perfect six packs. Now, I have put together three six packs, one based on normal bars, one based on our licensed bars, and a six pack of Scentsy Pods. But here is where the fun part comes in. I haven't limited it to what is available. I have put together what my ultimate favourite six packs are. So if Sensi were to open up their whole manufacturing department and have every single scent available that I have had access to and smelt since joining up in February, I have chosen a six pack based on that. So they may not be available now, they may be available now, but this would be, if I had access to every cent ever, my three favourite six packs, my must-haves forever and ever and ever. So that's where the fun comes in. I have not limited the scents. I have put together what my ultimate six packs would be. So without further ado, let's discuss them. Now, I'm going to start with just our general rack bars. Now, we cannot bundle and save licensed wax bars together, which is why I've done a six pack of licensed wax bars and a six pack of general bar, general wax bars. So, I am going to start with I am so sad. I have only got four cubes left of this and I am madly hoarding these four cubes until I can have the chance to maybe vote it back in a bring back my bar. And that is Buzzy Blanket. This, to me, is the perfect bedroom scent. It is calming. It is relaxing. It is also the perfect lavender scent. Since you describe it as snuggle up to soft scent of lavender, sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle. So it is a sweet lavender. It is not a herbal lavender. That honeysuckle and that sandalwood, the honeysuckle brings out a sweetness. The sandalwood brings out a softness. I find this relaxing. Now, I stumbled across these in the clearance section, so it is not in my Sensi Club, so I am hoping at some stage it becomes available in a voting chance to bring back my bar, because if it ever does, I will be voting like crazy to 
get it to come back in and bring back my bar so I can enjoy it in my Scentsy Club. Until then, I have used up all the bars I purchased in the clearance section. It is no longer available in our clearance section. I have half a bar left. I am madly hoarding that until then. The next one in my ultimate six pack would be Arctic Kiss. It is December scent of the month. Still available to put into Sensi Club. Is in sense in my Sensi Club, so I will always have it. It may even still be available to purchase on the website if they have not sold out. But this was a really popular scent of the month scent, and I absolutely love it. Arctic Kiss is described as cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. And it is a sweet, fresh scent. You get a beautiful sweetness from the vanilla cloud, but then that mint it's not overpowering. You can't actually, I don't actually get mint from it, but that mint is what's obviously giving that fresh air. This is just beautiful for laundries and bathrooms. So, the next one we're going to talk about. Now, this was one I ummed and ahed whether I was going to put it in my ultimate six pack because when I was designing the six pack, I could see a theme coming along and I was wondering whether I wanted to switch it up with something a bit more summery because as we delve further into my six pack you will see I have warm cozy bedroomy scents in my ultimate six pack so that is cozy cardigan now I did choose to go along with the theme and you will see why later when I discuss my other six packs so, cosy cardigan feels like a night in fine bladed bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose and amber silk. Now, I totally overlooked this one when it left us in the last spring summer, not spring summer, sorry, autumn winter catalogue. We're well, now spring summer now and about to hit our autumn winter one again. And I... Only recently just found it in a flash sale in our clearance section. I wish I had found it sooner to put in my Sensi Club, but on a happy note, it is coming back in our next catalogue, so I will be able to pop it in my Sensi Club if it retires again. It is a very pretty, soft, perfumey, girly scent. The rose is an overpowering rose, but it brings out a pretty perfume about it and then that musk brings and that amber silk brings a softness and a warmth perfect romantic bedroom scent keeping along the lines of perfect romantic bedroom scents I unfortunately don't have a bar at the moment used it all up I would have put it in my Scentsy Club as it is one that is available now but is retiring and I've put two of them in my Scentsy Club. My first shipment of that will come next month and I will get two of them and that is Pacific Sandalwood. Creamy vanilla cashmere and cosy cotton drift over an expanse of warm Pacific Sandalwood. So again there's this really rich softness from the vanilla cashmere the vanilla almost smells like a caramelly note to me, but it is sweet, it is soft, it is romantic, it is absolutely gorgeous. A must-have in my ultimate six-pack. The next one in my ultimate six-pack, Love Story. Now, again, another bedroom romantic scent. As you can see, my ultimate six-pack steers towards something soft, something warm, something romantic. This is delicate pink jasmine, introduced this, the flowerings of love. The heat 
madness of falling head over heels as seductive heady amber leads into complex chocolate, detonating the strength in lingering adoration. Now, you get the sweetness from the jasmine, that floral sweetness, and then as it warms, this chocolate note comes through. It's not a sweet chocolate note. It is a dark chocolate note, and it just brings this really beautiful, warm, comforting touch and makes the smell really, or scent, really romantic. I absolutely love this. This came back in July's Bring Back My Bar, and I have four of these in my Scentsy Club. That is how much I love them. They are amazing scents. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And the final one is Strawberry Notes. Now, this is one I tend to warm up more in my lounge room area because it is a stronger scent than these, but it is also a very romantic scent. It's also very fruity and very floral. It doesn't have the softness as the other ones does, but that's okay. I am in love with this one. Now, Strawberry Rose is also coming back in our new catalogue and I'm excited. It's the only reason I have taken it out of my Scentsy Club, but until then it was in my Scentsy Club. This was February scent of the month. And it is described as a sweet blend of mouth-watering strawberries and soft rose petals with a touch of sheer, sheer nuts. So that strawberry to me is not artificial at all. It is a sweet, ripe, juicy strawberry. And then that delicate floral from the rose and the musk comes through just making this an all-round delicious, romantic, sweet scent so that would be my ultimate ultimate six pack that i would have to have in my normal wax bars now there were two which i was considering maybe having in amongst them which you will find out why i didn't put them in and why i stuck to a romantic soft bedroomy type thing Continuing on, we are going to head into my licensed six pack. Now, I do not have all these bars. Some of them I picked up and have used in clearance sections, so no longer have them. But if I were to choose an ultimate six pack, they would definitely be a amongst them. So, we are first going to start with, as you can see, completely empty, used up. I have two of these in my Scentsy Club. Mistress of Evil, Maleficent. She happens to be my favourite, probably, villain of all Disney movies, but that's not why she's in my Scentsy Club and that's not why I've chosen her. I absolutely love this scent. And it is described as the beauty of gardenia meets malevolent musk while juicy blood orange drips over Satsuma Plum for the Sweetest Revenge. It is a fruity scent, so you definitely get that plum. And the gardenia, even though you can't actually smell it and you don't pick it up, I think adds a bit of a sweetness to that because plum can have a tart a note. I love my plum scents but plum can have a juicy tart note in a lot of scents and um, this is a lot sweeter than most of the plum scents that I have come across and I think it does have something to do with that gardenia and the musk brings out a bit of a softness in it. Now, the next one I am going to talk about 
is Monsters Inc. Now, when I was doing my ultimate six pack, I was considering putting something summery and fruity in it. And one of the ones I was thinking of was Be Fabulous, which was a percent of the month. Now, the reason I did not do that is because I chose to put Monsters Inc. in my ultimate six pack for the Disney pack and it is to me somewhat similar smelling to Be Fabulous. It's halfway between Be Fabulous and We're All Mad Here and that's the reason I did not put We're All Mad Here in which as we know was the scent that started my Scentsy Club. So I chose this because it kind of was a combination of two and felt if I were to do an ultimate six pack, I wasn't going to do similar, similar ones. So this was chosen because it was a combination of two scents I loved. Now, Monsters Inc. is described as open the door to an incredible fragrance, a monster dose of mandarin watermelon, pineapple and lush palms awake in a world like no other. This is very vibrant, it is very fruity and you do get a effervescent note to it. And you get that citrus burst from it. So that is Monsters Inc, my second choice in my ultimate Disney six pack. Now, in winter, autumn, I like to warm scents with a bit of spice. I love apple scents. I love apple pie. It's one of my favourite desserts. So, in my ultimate Disney six-pack, I had to put in Jack's Obsession. Now, Jack's Obsession is described as... Eureka, this cauldron full of apple spice, clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulishly grand brew. Now, I was choosing between this and between just one bite from the Evil Villains collection. I have not yet warmed just one bite, which is why I ended up going for this. This is definitely a green apple so you get that sharp bite from the green apple and then you get that rich spicy note come through from the sweetness and sharp bite of the green apple in Jack's Obsession. Just one bite is a red apple and it does have a sweetness with that what's it called? There's a um, molasses. So there is molasses in just one bite as well. And so you do get that sweetness through that. Um, I think I would prefer this one more than just one bite. But just one bite, if I'm looking for something spicy and sweeter without the bite in it, I would go for just one bite. But until I warm it, Jack's Obsession is the choice for my spice obsession winter now the next three I actually don't have bars in and I will tell you why I would choose them as my ultimate six pack I do have a scent pack in one from my children's buddy angel experiment 624 I did not get a chance to smell this wax I did, however, when the buddies returned, picked up a angel buddy and the smell of the scent pack was amazing. If the wax bar smells anything like the scents pack, I'm all in as it being one of my ultimate six pack choices. Now, let me pull up the description of Angel Experiment. Angel calls for a complex concoction this mischievous mix draws you in like a siren song with a blend of goji berry and blackberry 
reacting just so the sweet vanilla and sugar came. It is sweet. It is berries. It is fruity, but sweet. The perfect scent I would love to win in my daughter's room. So that would be scent number four I would choose for my ultimate six pack of a licensed collection. The next two I picked up in a clearance. They have been used. I do not have bars anymore, but if they were to ever come back, they would head straight to my Sensi Club. They are brilliant performers and our licensed bars are sometimes a bit on the lighter side. But these, I would put in a performance just as good as our normal bars. And they are both from the Frozen collection. The first one was Mythic Journey. It was blue and it had Noak, which was Elsa's horse on it. And it is described as get swept away by enticing black current autumnal pair over salty ocean waves. It had like a fruity, salty sea air, but a sweetness from the fruit about it. And it also had reminded me, this one, of basically ice, the sea and fruit. So it was like a wintry berry scent and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I so hope they bring that back at some stage so I can whack a couple of them in my Scentsy Club. I won't be just putting one in my Scentsy Club. I'd be putting a few in my Scentsy Club. The other one was Elsa's The North Cause and it was an empowering mix of berry and grapefruit, lily of the valley and a touch marine urge you to discover the truth. This to me had a little bit more of a tartness in it but still sweet, a little bit more watery, whereas the other one was more icy. So to me, they were very similar, but different at the same time. And it's another one I would put straight into my Sensi Club if it came back. So those were the six bars that would round up my six pack for my license collection. Now to move on to pods. So I'm moving on to our fan diffuser systems and choosing my ultimate six pack pod. The first one, Apple Picking. This was from our autumn collection. And again, it is catering to my need for a winter scent, steering away from the romantic bedroom scents, but for something wintry and too warm in autumn and winter so it is described as wander into autumn woods to gather golden apples with a dash of warm spice now this to me has a strong woodsy note but when it warms you can actually feel those leaves falling onto the ground and you wandering in and that crunch you get as you step onto those leaves and it crunches and releases that scent of the autumn woods but then you're in the woods with apple trees and as the apples fall to the ground you may step on the apple and you release just that little bit of apple juice that little crunch of the sweetness that just spickles through those woods. You can just imagine that there. So you get that slight sweetness or the crunch as you bite into an apple. It's not fully coming through with the sweetness of the apple, but just that crisp, sweet bit as if you've trodden on them, as if you've trodden on the leaves. That just picks it all up. And even though I don't have a scent memory of that, I could just imagine doing that. So that just brings it all in one scent. So it is why I had to put it into my ultimate six pack. 
my next ultimate six pack and it is retiring at the end of this month I have picked up a few to keep me going and I so hope they bring it back in the next spring summer again but who knows sometimes they don't sometimes they do Eskimo Kiss blackberry jam caramelized brown sugar vanilla and amber in a softly romantic scent so I love this scent in our bathroom and laundry it is softly sweet but at the same time fresh so you get the freshness but then that brown sugar and the jam and the vanilla and amber bring a sweet romantic softness the next one catering to my apple spice need again hi oh my and it is described as like a hot apple pie fresh from the oven and that is what you get you get simmering apples and the spices the next one catering to my relaxing calming mood is jammy time and again this is another lavender scent that is soft and sweet i prefer the sweeter soft lavender scents over the herbal lavender scents and this is help kids drift into dreamland with this soothing blend of baby freesia lavender and sweet pea and you can definitely smell the floral in this but then you get the softness of the lavender now i don't have pods in these ones even though we're talking about the ultimate pods i have two bars but you can still get them in pods so they would be what I would buy in pods, although one is you can no longer get in pods, but worse available in pods. So the first one we're going to talk about, which is still available, is Amazon Rain. And it is described as set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. This perfect laundry, perfect bathroom, even something I would warm in my bedroom. In the pods, I would put it in the laundry bathroom. And I have chosen it as my ultimate six pack pod because it is something tropical, something that can be used in summer, steering away from those bedroom romantic scents, which I popped in my six pack which I popped in my six pack of the bars so I have chosen it for my ultimate pod collection you get that coconut milk I don't get the orange zest in here but I definitely get a sweet floral and coconut milk the orange zest probably just gives it that bit more of a tropical note maybe um, there are consultants out there who can smell the orange more than the coconut and more than the floral but I'm picking up the sweetness of the floral and I'm picking up that tropical note from the coconut milk that's what I pick up mostly and the other one was available in pods and wax bars in our summer collection last year and that's hibiscus water and this was one that I was considering putting in my ultimate six pack bars of a cozy cardigan. I was trying to decide between those two. I was trying to decide whether, because I had a lot of bedroom softly romantic scents, whether I wanted to put something that I would enjoy in a summertime as an ultimate six pack. But the reason I didn't, I didn't have a band diffusing system at the time so I didn't pick up any of the pods but this scent was also available in pods so if it were available all time and I was able to get it in pods I would definitely now be picking them up in pods and they would be my top choices in pods with my ultimate six-pack hibiscus water 
and it is described as fresh and mellow the hibiscus water scentsy bar suvenir fuses apple with hibiscus and a soft misting of mineral water a tranquil aromatic experience so this is a fresh aquatic scent but then that hibiscus flower and the apple lend it a sweet note so you've got fresh aquatic and then this beautiful sweetness comes through and it's a perfect perfect summer scent and it is something that I would warm or diffuse in a bathroom in a laundry in the lounge room although my lounge room is open concept it's not the strongest smelling scent but it just gives a very summery summery vibe and you need something summery in the hot weather to give a bit of a tropical note this is the perfect one to do it so that's what I would put in my ultimate six pod for that so as you can see if I were to choose ultimate six packs bundle and saves if all scents were available all the time they would be my ultimate choices so I have ones that are soft and romantic and warm and comforting for the bedroom I have a few that I would love in summertime giving a tropical fruity vibe I have a few that I would love for the winter time with the spice and the woodsy and the apple notes and I have a few that I would like when I want something fresh and cool and cleansing for the bathroom so they are my ultimate six packs what would be your ultimate six pack choice if you could choose between any scent at all they do not have to be available now but if you were to choose an ultimate six pack what would it be I'd love to know what your ultimate six pack would be and I have saved my ultimate six pack in my planner because what I plan on doing is this time next year redoing this to see if any of my ultimate six pack preferences has changed as we all know new scents come out all the time and I have noticed since joining up in February my scent preferences have changed when I first joined up I would have thought I would have never tried a lot of scents I am now trying and loving and enjoying and one of the best things with me with joining up was I got to get the testers and smell scents that I would have probably never brought otherwise and by smelling those testers I'm like oh I like this I am going to get this I am going to try this so I do notice my scent preferences change over time so it is going to be interesting to see how much my scent preferences change in a year again and how much change whether this changes up much or if it doesn't in a year's time so i do hope you enjoyed this little video of the ultimate six packs i just thought it would be something a bit fun to do a little bit different i hope you are all having a wonderful time i look forward to speaking to you again until then bye for now